so my, my story starts out, I suppose, growing up in, in Minnesota, uh, I think I had a very fortunate life. I had a brother and a sister, a loving family. Um, uh, I had all the opportunities that I wanted. I played a lot of sports. Um, so, so growing up, that's what I did. And I did well in school, um, in high school. Um, and then I ended up uh, traveling over and living in the country of Finland uh, to essentially race uh, and, and participate in cross-country skiing over there. After kind of a series of uh, accidents and events, um, being prescribed painkillers, uh, and so those started to really quickly take over my life when I didn't have the opportunity to practice skiing. It got to the point where um, I was losing relationships with my family. Um, I was not skiing anymore. Uh, I, had, I had really nothing going for me in my life that I liked. Uh, I just kept using alcohol and drugs because that was the only thing I knew that made me feel better um, until they didn't make me feel better anymore and I just kept uh, continuing down that path. And when I was in outpatient treatment, uh, one of my counselors uh, told me about this, this program, it was called the CLEAN program uh, at the College of St. Scholastica and up until this time, um, getting into recovery, trying to work a good program, participating in uh, 12 step recovery. Um, I, I guess I never thought that I could do college or that college was for me anymore. I felt like that was an opportunity that because of what I did, I, I couldn't get that opportunity back. Um, I just wondered how I could go to college and be in a person in recovery. Uh, at that time in my life, those two were not compatible. You know, that transition from inpatient treatment to outpatient to sober housing to a collegiate recovery program uh, for me it was the perfect it was the perfect setup um, and during during my studies at the College of St. Scholastica I skied for five years for St. Scholastica um, going from not enjoying the sport not sure if I wanted to continue cross-country skiing to really really uh, redeveloping a passion for the sport um, and a lot of satisfaction in there. Um, and then also um, the opportunity, if, if somebody were to tell me uh, five, six years ago that I was going to work for the CLEAN program, um, I would have, uh, I guess I would never have believed that was possible. Um, but because of the support that I've got from uh, members of the CLEAN program, from the staff of the CLEAN program, um, I've had these opportunities and I've been able to uh, drastically improve my life. Not only my, uh, my life as it uh, relates to me, but also um, my life in terms of other people that, uh, you know, I've been able to rebuild the relationship uh, with my family members. Watch my parents be proud of me again for, for achieving, for getting through college, for graduating and going on. Uh, to continue uh, my education as well. Without CLEAN, I don't, I don't think that would have been possible. Um, I can't say where I would have been without it, uh, but I can confidently say that um, I don't think I would have nearly as many opportunities and would be able to live the uh, very satisfying life that I'm able to live now. And, it's, and you never know what giving somebody an opportunity and a chance to succeed is going to look like. Um, for myself, uh, I would never be here without the CLEAN program. My name is Joe Dubay. I'm the Outreach Coordinator for the CLEAN program. Um, I'm currently working on my Master's in Addiction Studies and Co-Occurring Disorders at uh, Hazelden Betty Ford Graduate School of Addiction Studies.